boom check her out 36,471 miles it's gonna be a sad sad day when she gets to 40k just another gloomy day weather is gonna be dropping significantly soon enough I want summer back what's going on YouTube it is your boy Nick from the get this Nick channel you guys know we've been pushing out this 2004 Lincoln Town Car content so much lately and I appreciate all the support from all you guys but we got something a little bit different we're doing today it's regarding the Lincoln Town Car but this is something new it's something exciting and I uh, can't wait to share it with you guys let's just get right into it so when I originally kind of had my mind made up that I was gonna be purchasing a Lincoln Town Car I started obviously going to the internet like a lot of you guys do and uh, going on YouTube especially and I was looking just for any sort of Lincoln Town Car content I can get my hands on and there were two accounts that stood out to me and one of those was Ford Boss Me which is a guy named Rich who owns his own shop and he had a Lincoln Town Car he actually just recently got rid of it he gave it away to one of his subscribers which is pretty cool video of that is all on his channel if you want to go check that out if you haven't seen that already and then there was another gentleman I think his name was Vitaly he does uh, he's calls himself the Lincoln Town Car guy he had a Lincoln Town Car and he actually just recently got rid of his now the reason why these two accounts are so important and why I'm talking about them is because when I was looking for my Lincoln Town Car I binge watched their videos because I was able to find Lincoln Town Car like reviews and stuff but it was harder for me to find consistent Lincoln Town Car content of just like an ordinary person someone like me that just posts content about the car keeps you guys updated of what's going on and and kind of documents their ownership experience I couldn't find that until I found Rich at Ford Boss Me and then this Vitaly guy so I quickly came to the realization that actually both of them live near Chicago and um, that's good news for me because obviously if you guys have been a part of this channel you know that your boy get this Nick also lives in Chicago so long story short way back when in September when I got this thing <clears throat> I reached out to Rich through um, Instagram and I just said hey man you know I'm, I'm a big fan of your channel and everything appreciate everything you, you do for Lincoln Town Car guys like myself anyone that owns the Panther platform kind of gave him his flowers gave him his props and uh, kind of said hey I'm gonna pick up this Lincoln Town Car and I'd love to come by and, and show you it maybe do a video and he's just said whenever you want swing by the shop I don't care you can either call or you could just come on by we're always here come hang out so I've never met Rich personally. This is actually where we're going right now. We are going to Rich's shop here in Chicago. We are gonna meet him. And my mom always told me that anytime I go somewhere, not to show up empty handed. So I stopped and got some Dunkin' Donuts. So I got a little 12 count, you know, a little dozen of Dunkin' Donuts for hopefully Rich in his shop. I don't know how many people work at his shop. So I hope this is enough. But um, yeah, I'm gonna stop in there. I'm gonna say what's up to him and really just kind of get his opinion on my car and also introduce myself. We've been talking a little bit back and forth here and there. And he is one of the main reasons why I got this car and why I'm able to give you guys this content. So Rich, if you're watching this video, shout out to you for that, man. And thanks for all the uh, great info you give us. It's, it's uh, seriously, it's greatly appreciated. So we are making our way now. We are cruising on through. And uh, luckily, it's not too far from where I live. So we are going to get there, check in with Rich, and see what the hell is going on. So we have just pulled up outside of his shop. Let's uh, bring these donuts in here, make a little delivery, and see what's going on with our boy Rich. All right, so we're back. We have officially arrived. We are with the man, the myth, the legend, Uncle Rich, Ford Boss Me. Give us a shot. See the height difference? A little bit of a height difference, but we're going to do all right. But the main thing here is we got Rich. We're going to be showing him the LTC. One of the main reasons why I got this car, I already told you guys. I'm going to hand him the keys real quick so he can do his little inspection. So for those of you that don't know, pick this back up in September 2004. Lincoln Town Car Ultimate. Right now it's at about 36,500 original miles. Yeah, I just got it tinted, so I'm, uh, I can't roll down the windows. It's clean, man. Let me 
man. It's my baby, man. It's I found it in Michigan. It was a guy on Facebook Marketplace. His uh his father-in-law owned it and he got sick shortly after buying it, and that was it. He passed away. The son-in-law kept it and eventually said let's wow. list it up for sale. Makes you, it makes you want yours back? <laughs> Tell the guy you need it back. What was his name? Zach. <laughs> Tell Zach, Zach, we need you to drive it back. It's my baby, man. They all do that. You know what, in this year, the last two that I've owned, same thing. I didn't even notice that. See? You will know. <laughs> See, this is why, yeah, it's gonna, probably going to be one of those things that drive me nuts, too. I'm like, I, I wish you would have pointed that shit out to me. Yeah, they, so both, <laughs> both mine were like that. Really? I tried tucking it, it comes right back up. Yeah, I'm already looking for another one. Are you? Yeah. So that's it. Me and Rich have been talking about the Lincoln. He did a little video on his channel. You guys can check it out. What do you think? Give me your honest opinion, Rich. It's a nice car. It's a nice ride. Uh, all the things that I typically look for, stick the stamps in the window, uh, actual wheel arch area and stuff. Normally they're they're kind of like real rotted out. This one's not like that. Um, low miles seems to be in really 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 good shape. The trunk and everything, all the features and stuff work. I say that you uh, you got a hell of a deal. So basically, he said it's worth about thirty grand. Is what he's trying to tell. Yeah, like maybe 32. 32? Maybe 32. we got 32. So I, I, I'm i glad I came through here because now that I'm friends with Rich, I guess, would you call me your friend? Yeah. Uncle Rich. Uncle Rich. Uncle Rich. <laughs> so we're going to do fluid film. I for sure want to have him do that. We got to coat the bottom because I do daily drive this thing all the time, as you guys know, even in the winter. So we got to coat the bottom of it, prevent that rust. And, uh, Whatever else. I got to do brake fluid. We got to do coolant. We're going to do a lot of stuff. But Rich is a busy man. He's got to get going. So we are going to close out the video. Check out his channel. If you've subscribed to me, thank you so much. Appreciate the support. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.